Uh, it's coming down to Defcot Gaming. This is the uh, do or die moment. Remember, if they lose this game set or this game, then you already know Obey Esports will be crowned as champions, walking away with three thousand United States dollars. I know, yep. starting things off from Obey Esports, we have Aditya leading the charge once again. Can he get the three star just to kick things off for game number two? Uh, distracting yeah. it on his path to destroy whatever uh, items were there or whatever structures are here. So, AQ aside, just very, very misfortunate timing, misfortunate placement. If okay, this is interesting. I was expecting SDB Joy to be the clutch player for game number, uh, the final game for Def God Gaming, but 4%. So SDB Joy gonna be able to match it up in the final moments. It is gonna be very, very close, but they do equalize it between both the Again, players. This time, SP gonna be leading charge, hoping to get a 3-star finish against Akash. And this time, this looks like a potential 3-star finish coming in from Obey Esports. Yeah, just a bit worried that time when the Barbarian King was redirected. To, it's just purely for insurance to finish up as much damage as possible, but definitely not guaranteeing the 3-star completion. Now, we're heading in towards Death God Gaming's perspective. We Ujayan07, hoping to secure a 3-star against Obey Esports this time. Yeah, he's got Riders in place. Oh no! The Hog Riders pool coming in from the north side. A majority of them got spring out of the trap. And another spring comes in. And the Hog Riders oh. again! Another one! The farm one! And all the Hog Riders can completely destroy. With the support of the Grand Warden, like you said, this could no! be a contest. No! He didn't! He Ooh. didn't get the three star! It wasn't enough time! And that's gonna be 98% hit ratio for. It is gonna be Karan from Obey Esports that takes the charge. Can they equalize the score? But based on the left sides here, drop the balloons. The Warden comes in. It is going to be the Air Warden attacking here. The defensive Lava Hound going to be distracting the Queen a little bit. Does he add it? He just needs one more target, right? 94%? 94? 94? No! He doesn't get it! Third attack, Tashan Shawan will heat the charge right here. A couple of E-Dragons, so he's still gonna go into on. the middle lane, but the Dragons are just dying very quickly, and the Lightnings are not popping at the right time. Oh my goodness, the Sweepers as well, just shoving him on the side. The ratio is from both sides, and in this second game of Grand Finals, it is going neck and neck between both these teams. Only a 3-star can decide uh, perfection can clutch it for OBE Sports now. I mean, this is very similar to what Patna Pirates go up against, uh, went up against. He only has hero power left, and this might be a high hit ratio once again for a beast, but how high can it go? Ratio, and the hit ratio will be in the hands of Dead God Gaming, and it comes down to final moments here for Obey Esports. Can they 3-star and clutch it in the final moments against Death God Gaming? Because overall, the hit, if, and only if, he gets the three stars right now means we are heading into overtime guaranteed. Yes, RC being healed left and right right now in front of the archers. Can this balloons raid will take over this base for the three star IC baby? Yep, okay, so still a lot of time to do a lot of damage in place and uh, <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna give up that wizard over there. Eighty-seven percent on the side of Death God Gaming. So eighty. The decider rounds between two very very important players from each side. No attacker, Manic. we have Manic. Yep, Manic again. Uh, the only player right now to be more consistent in terms of his attacks, able to get three stars completion. Multiple three stars victory. Still strong, still surviving. They need her here to continue dishing damage across the map in place. Looking for the finish, AQ not going to be able to provide any sign of assistance, but with two seconds left, it's not going to be enough. 97% only for Manic, almost connecting the three star and finals as intense as it gets game number two obey esports has played their cards 88.2 percent hit ratio and ganu only needs to maintain this with a two star and a 90 percent overall hit ratio to come back into the game destroy but will he be able to do enough damage because the town hall is doing so much work eventually falls 55 more right here perhaps just to add salt to injury and unfortunate uh, fortunate enough is at it 86 percent in place from the side of Dev god gaming oh what goodness and oh my goodness 89 percent to 88.2 only shining away 0.8 from Obey Esports from taking World the clinch game number two and ladies and gentlemen overtime it is in game number three